What's up, Internet? Today, we're gonna be talking about paano makabili ng pinakamurang office computer. So, basically, tips on how to get the best value for your money. And number one, it's just buy what you need. To keep costs down, just get the very basic what you need. And what you will definitely need is a case, but you don't need to get an expensive case. And you can buy a case which already comes with a power supply unit, like these cases behind me. These cases are around 1,000, 1,200 and the nice thing about them is kasama na yung case, kasama na yung power supply unit. The power supplies included in these kind of cases are, you know, they're generic, they're unbranded. So lots of people don't like them. Maraming nagsasabi, basura, magdaling masira, masusunog lang computer mo. And on one hand, that's true. If you're building a gaming rig, if you're building a more expensive setup, you do want to spend more for your power supply. Because you're asking a lot more from your computer if you're going to use it for graphics rendering or for video editing and things like that. Pero yun nga, babalik tayo dun sa unang punto. If you're just using it for an office computer, then these generic power supply units are very good. And number two, they're very cheap. So that's what you're looking for in a very basic office computer type setup. Get one of these budget cases, nakasama na yung PSU and you'll save you know, a significant amount of money. Another thing that you need is get a CPU with integrated graphics or get a CPU that doesn't need a graphics card anymore. So you don't need to buy a graphics card, you can save yourself some money. Admittedly, the manufacturers don't make it easy. Medyo nakakalito tingnan kung ano ba may onboard graphics and ano yung wala. For Intel, if they put an F beside the number, for example, the i5-9400F behind me, if you see the F, that means you need a graphics card and that's not the CPU that you want for an office build. The one behind me, we use the i3-9100 and then the one here, we use the Celeron CPU. So, you know, these are the kind of CPUs that already have onboard graphics and AMD has CPUs as well. Make sure you get a CPU with onboard graphics para hindi mo na kailangan bumili ng graphics card. But what you definitely need, I will recommend, and a lot of other PC builders locally do not recommend for office computers, is buy an SSD. Sobrang mahalaga ito for your quality of life. Things will be, everything will be a lot easier and faster with an SSD. So what's an SSD? Basically, it's a kind of hard drive, so it just stores memory. But unlike the old hard drives which have spinning parts inside, the old hard disk drives, SSDs have no moving parts, so everything is electronic. And because of that, everything is a lot faster. Kaya mabilis yung mga cellphone natin because yung memory ng cellphone ay SSD. That's why cell phones boot up so fast. And so I'm recommending even for office builds to get at least a small SSD, maybe 128 gig or 256 gig. Just enough so you can store your OS and some programs like Office on the SSD. Everything is so much better with an SSD. I cannot stress this enough. Spend an extra amount of money. It's only around maybe 2,500 or so for a small SSD and your quality of life using the computer really improves. Along with the SSD, I recommend at least a one terabyte normal hard drive, normal HDD, which is also around maybe 2,300 or so. Because since the SSD is so small, and after you install the OS and other programs on it, you won't have a lot of room for your files. So your one terabyte normal hard drive is there for your picture files, your Word files, your Excel files, and all of the other things that an office computer accumulates. Para sa office computer, 8 gigabytes, one stick, 1x8 of RAM is enough. Or if you want to go with 2x4, if you want dual channel memory, that's fine as well. But 8 gigabytes of RAM is more than enough for a standard office computer. And the speed, because RAM comes in different speeds from, let's say, 2000 megahertz pataas. The speed doesn't matter. Yes, faster is better, but since budget rig to para sa opisina, any DDR4 RAM of 8GB, any speed is basically okay. You basically, hanapin mo lang yung pinakamura, okay na yun. Because again, this is a budget office computer rig. 
and any speed is fine for this setup. Usually, the office computers come with included monitors because you want it as a package. And my tip here is just go for the cheap brands. AOPEN is good. AOPEN is the one behind me. As well as AOC also behind me. Usually, the size of the monitor is around 18.5 inches, 16 inches. These are really teeny tiny monitors. Hindi masarap gamitin. Pero yun nga, if you're just typing or if you're just basic surfing, and again, it's a budget office computer, these will fit your requirements. If you still have room in the budget, I would really recommend getting maybe 23 inch, a 23 inch or a 21 inch monitor because that's also a quality of life issue. I've noticed the bigger the monitor, the more productive people can be. Especially because you can have multiple windows open at the same time, like your window, your Word file is here, and your Excel file is here, or your email is here, or whatever. So bigger monitors are nice to have, but if you're on a budget, AOC and AOPEN are okay alternatives. They'll, they're pretty reliable, they'll last you basically the lifespan of your office computer. Of course, yung pinakamahalaga sa pagbili ng office computer, kailangan mo maghanap ng computer store or computer technician na pinagkakatiwalaan mo. It's easy to get confused with all of the parts and all of the specifications, like ang daming numbers, ang daming mga 3500X, ano yung difference nun sa 9700K, and bakit 32, hindi 8, and ano ba tong RGB? There are so many things about PC building that can be confusing, so you do need to find somebody trustworthy that can advise you, and that can actually honestly tell you na, okay, ito yung kailangan mo, ito yung hinahanap mo, office computer, ito lang kailangan mo. You only need these specs, you don't need these high-end specs. Because to be honest, a lot of people will try to take advantage if you're not too familiar with computers, they'll recommend things that you don't really need. And, well, syempre medyo biased ako, but if you're looking for an office computer, you can trust us here at Hardware Sugar. To be honest, we usually do higher-end rigs, let's say gaming computers worth 100,000 per computer or 80,000 or things like that. But we cater to everybody and regardless of what computer you buy from us, you can trust us to make sure you're only getting what you need. We will not try to upsell you on items that you don't need. Di ka namin lolokohin na, oy, kailangan mo to, kailangan ganyan, pero actually, you don't need those things. So like, these basic office computers behind me, they're going to a doctor and one is for the secretary and one is for the doctor herself. And these things came out to around 20,000 pesos roughly, including everything. That's the, that's the computer behind, the complete computer behind me, as well as the monitors, as well as the keyboard and the mouse and things like that. And you can build a decent office computer for around that much, 20 or so thousand pesos. And we put our money where our mouth is. I recommended to the doctor that she put SSDs and these do both of these, even the secretary's unit has SSDs because they're a big quality of life improvement for whoever is going to use the computer. So I hope that these basic tips help you. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like and hit the subscribe button. For your PC needs, consider buying from us Hardware Sugar at Lazada or on our website. You can find links in the description below. And thank you for watching. See you next video.